Hey folks here at OS Reviews. Today you're watching our video first look at Go UI Launcher. This is a free application you can install in the Google Marketplace or you can download from your computer and drag into your phone. So a comparison can be made between something like HTC Sense, which can be found on mo most HTC smartphones, and also TouchWiz, which is installed by, An by Samsung on their Android phones. Go UI is just another variant. Uh, it's another skin that you can place on top of your existing Android OS that makes things a bit more fun and you can customize it a bit more. So for example, transitions between pages can be tweaked to your liking, the icons can be changed around, you can change the themes and the wallpapers, so it gives you more freedom and allows you to play around with the overall look of your phone a bit more. With that being said, GoUI does have a few disadvantages despite being free. For example, battery life is going to be significantly lower on your phone, especially for devices that aren't exactly optimized. So right now we have a Kyrcer Echo here that we have the GoUI launcher installed. You can see how our battery percentage is de decreasing pretty fast. Uh, I installed installed this uh, a few hours ago and the overall battery life then was about full and now we can see it's almost yellow, almost out of battery. So it's going to definitely drain your battery a bit faster. So there's definitely a pay, uh, a trade-off in that department. Also, you can notice how the device itself is not going to be fully optimized for every device out there, especially if your phone is a bit quirky in terms of the hardware. So the Curiouser Echo, of course, has two touchscreen displays. As you can see here, this particular operating system, so the UI on top of uh, Android right now, Go UI doesn't support dual screen mode. So you can see how the second screen basically doesn't do anything if I install this launcher. And if I deactivate the launcher, then it goes basically back to normal. So just know that if you have some interesting devices, maybe a Yoda phone, which has a dual screen design and an ink screen on the other side, this particular UI uh, or a skin on top of the UI might ne not necessarily support all of your original features. Going back into the details on the actual uh, skin now, you can see how the icons have been rearranged. It's kind of a mixture between MIUI, in my opinion, because things look like a mix between iOS and Android. They're very organized looking. You can see all the icons down below here in the app drawer. Uh, it's a little bit like iOS in the sense that everything is very simplistic. You have these nice grids that divide everything up. But at the same time, you do still have access to all your icons and all your widgets that you can rearrange. And you also have access to live wallpapers if you want to do that. Uh, so you have kind of the best of both worlds in terms of iOS's simplicity and the freedom to customize your liking found in Android, which is kind of neat. Talking about transitions, you can basically hold on a blank part of a screen to bring up some different things that you can do and have access to. So if we zoom in a little bit here, you have access to directly add apps from this screen. So it's kind of like dropping any applications you might have that you are already installed. For example, the camera application, I can tap on that. It's going to install it all automatically onto the top there. So if I want to tap on Angry Birds, it's going to do the same thing. So that's something that's pretty neat. And nothing that's too dramatically different. You can also add folders. Go widgets, th these are special widgets that come along with Go Launcher. These are not the standalone regular widgets. If you want to access those, you have to go back and then reselect that. But these are special applications such as Switch that are pre-installed and uh, actually crafted by the, by the um, company that created the launcher. You can see it's a bit different from your standard connectivity bar that's found in Android directly. So again, it's a few tweaks that have been modified by Go. Over here you have some standard widgets, so these are the ones that you can find traditionally on your phone. Uh, those are still accessible. Taking a look here, we also have wallpapers, so you can customize it uh, to add different displays, to create different goal wallpapers, standalone wallpapers, and you can change the theme over here as well to change the effect of your device. Pressing on theme, you can change the theme. You can always install more themes just like on MIUI. So you can go to the Go store and that allows you to actually download more themes. Theme packages basically change the entire wallpaper. They change the way icons look and they arrange everything for you. So it's a complete package, it's a complete overhaul as opposed to you changing different elements to your liking. So I can change the wallpaper by myself, but if I install a theme, it's gonna change a lot of things. It's gonna change the entire overall feel. So for example, I have the UI 3.0 theme. I can also press on the default theme and you can see how it's gonna load. It's gonna take a few seconds and it's gonna change the uh, background. It's gonna change some of the icons and the placement. So it's a interesting way for you to kind of toggle back and forth between uh, different ways to kind of navigate and uh, use your phone in different settings, perhaps in the office and then at home when you're relaxing. 
For effects, this is the transitions between the pages. So for example, I can press on random, and this means that everything is going to be random now in terms of the page transitions. So I can switch back and forth, it looks like a bubble, but I can also go back and now everything has changed again. So everything is now completely random as far as the page transition. So this is pretty fancy. It's kind of neat, although if you are someone that's kind of impatient, you want your pages to load really quickly, this is, uh, you can also select for no transition. It's gonna load things a bit faster. This definitely takes a, a bit longer because it needs a few seconds to actually load the transition between pages, but it's a nice funky way for you to play around uh, if you do want the time and kind of want to customize the phone even more. You'll notice that the four icons or the icons in the bottom here has also been rearranged. Uh, in terms of the actual applications, of course, they are still the same. So if I tap on the phone dialer, it's still going to be the same dialer as before. It's just that the uh, way the icons look have been changed. So there's a contacts list here, an MMS text messaging, and also a, a browser client. Tapping on the full list of applications there, you can also see your full applications. You have kind of like TouchWiz where you have different pages that continuously scroll back and forth. They are kinetic and they don't never they basically never end. You can also tap them through different applications, recent applications, running applications, and then select from a, a, your different apps that way. Over here, you have the ability to also cycle through some basic applications, and you can tab through specific ones. So for example, we have an app here that allows you to launch directly into your images and your videos. Um, and also you can find over here your settings for uh, creating new folders, hiding things, and then searching for specific apps if you don't want to cycle through your pages. So there's certainly a lot of freedom and a lot of flexibility associated with the Go Launcher and the Go UI. I think that's a pretty fun way to play around with your phone. Uh, it definitely gives you more freedom in terms of customization. And uh, there are a few downsides like lower battery life and also it's not going to support some um, kind of unique phones that are out there like the Yoda phone or the Kyocera Echo. But I think for general users, it's a great way to kind of change up the vanilla feel of Android if you want to do that. Anyways, this is a brief video overview of Go UI Launcher, and you can check out more details in our article. Thanks for watching this video first look here at OS.